What's her NSFW fun fact? Romania has searched for more Scooby-Doo porn than any other country. Testicles have an idle animation. Ostriches have been known to put on mating dances for humans they find attractive and seek to copulate with, even so far as refusing other ostrich mates literally right next to them. Essentially, ostriches are reverse of furries. Same thing with dolphins. 2. Tarantulas reproduce by the male basically nutting on his hands and punching the female directly in the vagu. Barnacles can have penises up to 50 times their body length. The largest penis to size ratio on any animal. An elephant's penis is prehensile just like their trunks. This is because they are too big to thrust, so the penis does the thrusting on its own. When wolves have sex they then get stuck together for up to a half hour afterwards. It's very funny to watch when a wolf from a pack and a lone wolf have sex and get caught because they'll try running away while stuck together. The spot was nearly called the Whipple Tickle after Professor Beverly Whipple. Who coined the expression that we know today? Sex as in sex that is done responsibly can help your immune system. Use hydrogen peroxide to clean up blood stains. The way that clams reproduce. The male basically shoots semen in the general direction of the female. And the female uses a vacuum tube to suck all the good stuff out of the water around her. When flatworms made two males square off and the one that stabs the other with their penis, stays a male and the other turns into a female. The females of anglerfish, https, slash slash images to, minutemediacn, com slash image slash upload slash c underscore fill, g underscore auto, h underscore 1248, w underscore 20 to 20 slash f underscore auto, q underscore auto, W underscore 1100 slash V1 billion 555 million 922 thousand 684 slash shape slash mental for slash BMC underscore disarrate ID for Wedley underscore JPG carry multiple testicles attached to them. Let me explain this. So, the big ass fish shown in the photo is a female. Males of anglerfish are much smaller, about 100 times or so. The moment they are born, their sole purpose of life is to find a female. They don't eat. They don't socialize. They just wander around until they find a female. When they do, they bite into the sides of the female and attach them to the female for good. From that point on, they get nutrition from the female. And in turn they provide her with sperm which she uses to reproduce. A single female can have multiple such males attached to her at any given time. Over time. The attached males start to deteriorate, they lose features that even identify them as fish, and eventually end up essentially as testicles attached to the females http slash slash www fishers of australia net au slash images slash image slash hypothrin amolist soup one jpg there is a species of penguins aidly penguins that build nests out of pebbles the males will bring pebbles to the females and essentially propose to them. If the female accepts, they will continue the nest building and be mates. Sometimes, the female is lazy and doesn't want to work. In this case, the female will attract a male, get his pebble, mate with him, then attract another male, trading sex for nest materials. Essentially, some female penguins prostitute themselves for nesting materials. Edit to add species. If a jellyfish is killed, it will release all of its sexual content. Thus, if you kill two jellyfish, you could possibly cause the birth of over 100 to replace them. It's essentially the same as a human dying, and, if male, ejaculating so hard that every drop of semen is violently expelled from them slash, if female, launching eggs from their vagina, which is disturbing to think of, but you get what I mean. I only know this cause there was a documented case of it. They tried to kill a swarm of jellyfish, I can't recall where, with a metal net dragged through the water. However, after killing about 200 of them, they later were cursed with the 3000 or so strong offspring of those they killed. A boar can ejaculate up to 500 milliliters of semen. Fat has almost 17 fluid ounces. Bats engage in oral sex. There are bugs and other invertebrates 
notably the bed bug, that have evolved such that the only way to reproduce is for the dude bug to stab the ladybug in her abdomen with his dick. Bonobo apes and hedgehogs are the only animals aside from humans that look at each other when doing the naughty. Melichidnas have four heads on their penis. Edit. Also. Female Echidna have two vaginas. When you lose your hair with Chimo, you lose all your hair. Pubes. Underarms. Eyelashes and nose hairs. Not having lashes means you get crap in your eyes and can't just blink it away. No nose hair is just weird. Every time I wash my face I get water up my nose now. Chimo sucks. Men who climb Mount Everest tend to get boners during the climb due to how the extreme elevation impacts blood pressure and circulation. Elephants evolve testicles that remain inside their body due to their size and height. Where testicles that hang would have been easy targets for predators to grab a quick snack. Male and female ducks are locked in a perpetual sex war against each other. Male ducks are aggressive and will breed forcefully. They are even known to commit necrophilia. Their penises grow according to how many competing males there are in their environment during mating season, and then fall off after the season. Some ducks also have barbs on their penises to scrub away rival dick sperm from females. Female ducks' vaginas are designed in a counter corkscrew fashion to combat the male duck's explosive corkscrew penis. Females also have up to 8 false cavities to mislead an unwanted penetration. Ducks are degenerates. You should wash sperm and other proteins. Eggs for instance, with cold water at first, because hot water will basically cook it. Female pigs orgasm for up to 30 minutes. Most mammals, regardless of size, take approximately the same amount of time, on average, to empty their bladders. About 20 seconds. Only one third of a woman's vagina is sensitive to touch while the other 2 slash 3s of the vagina is pressure sensitive. The thin little seam on a man's nuts is there because it's literally fused together. In women that seam becomes the opening to the vagina. In fact, penises and vaginas are actually sort of the same shit, but rearranged during development. The clitoris grows to become the head of the penis. The labia fuse together to form the scrotum. The nuts are sort of like ovaries on the outside. Seriously. If you have a long term, opposite sex partner, or a really open friendship, who's down for this? Take out your scrot slash lips and touch it to their scrot slash lips. They feel exactly the same. I believe this is also why men have nipples. Because a fetus starts developing the female plan then either switches to male or doesn't. I'm sure there are more similarities that I'm not aware of. Electrical stimulation of a particular nerve group in the lower back can induce ejaculation. The effect is involuntary and works in people with paralysis and even sufficiently fresh cadavers. Edit. Well heck this blew up. Thanks for the shiny shiny silver. Generous stranger. Credit for this fact goes to Mary Roach's fine non-fiction book bank. Highly recommend. Male chickens sometimes rape to assert dominance instead of fighting. Standing on a swivel chair while putting up a sign or light bulb is one of most common workplace accidents. In the UK Gropper Kent Lane was a common street name for red light districts a few centuries ago. Most have been renamed things like Great Lane. There's a wiki page on this. It's the tightness of the pallet wrap that holds a loaded pallet together, not the amount you use. So you can attach a cow walker to one with only two wraps around their midsection. In parts of Arizona and New Mexico there is a type of lizard called the whiptail lizard. They have evolved to where they don't need males anymore. They can lay their own eggs but get this. They have to be stimulated by another female to get the eggs produced. You know what they say. Hash S-U-N-S out. Hash T-O-N-G-U-E-S out. Men are renowned the only ones that get longer when fear aroused. The femalonella's vaginal canal lengthens when she grows aroused. Letting her accommodate something big. If you get someone to lightly stroke slash poke your inner thigh, your testicles will ascend due to the chromosteric reflex. The German for contraceptive is S-C-H-W-A-N-G-E-R-S-C-H-A-F-T-S-V-E-R-H-A-T-U-N-G-S-M-I-T-T-E-L. By the time you finish saying it, it's too late. There is roughly 37. 5 MB of data in a single sperm which means that the average male ejaculates 1500 TB of data. 
doggy style and reverse cowgirl are the same position in space. Reverse cowgirl is the number one way to cause penile fractures. Also, penile fractures are a thing regardless of size. Edit, Reddit Afornia 10 damn years and this is my highest upvoted comment. Edit 2, lol. Silver and gold now. It's not exactly a fun fact, but okay. There's a little marsupial in Oceania that, once it turns a year old, starts mating with females for a week or so. The mating can last up to 12 hours per female. The male will only stop having sex when it starts dying from internal bleeding. It's basically death by snoo snoo. The human anus maximum diameter is a comfortable 3 inches roughly, but we all know it can go further than that. Your testicles develop inside your body when you're a fetus. Then a wall of muscle between your abdomen and your scrotum opens up to let them drop through before closing again. If it doesn't close properly, you can give birth to a baby with a horrendously distended scrotum filled with their entire intestines. I may get this wrong, but I believe I heard that around 40% of all ducklings were conceived via rape. Edit. I have noticed two major questions I would like to answer now that I have the time look up things up. The exact percentage seems to vary, but most of the sources I have seen so far place the percentage more between 25-35% which would make a bit more sense considering females have evolved a twisting labyrinth for a vagina. It has also come to my attention that some people seem to think that animals do not or are not able to give consent when mating, which is not exactly true. Intersexuality is a type of mating style where individuals compete passively through performing some form of ritual display, song, pattern slash colors, showmanship, decoration, dance, bow building, etc. to impress a member of the opposite sex, resulting in both sides consenting. Ducks, or drakes as I have learned some countries call them, are normally intersexual, and when the courtship is done properly, the female will position herself in a way that will drastically increase the male on Earth's chances of successfully fertilizing her eggs. Sadly, not all male ducks slash drakes are willing to patiently do and go for the more aggressive approach. TL, doctor, the percent is more between 25-35%. Animals can consent with each other. If you flick a nipple really hard it automatically becomes erect. The inside of the male urethra is rifled like a gun barrel, which allows the pee to come out straight instead of in a spray. Edit. Guys I'm not sure I want this to be my most upvoted comment. Never use an angle grinder to cut aluminum, because its low melting point will gum up the blade and potentially crack and fly out, so fast eye protection won't matter, makes for a very not safe for work environment. Some animals have a real bone in their penis. It's called a baculum. Exhibitionism is when you enjoy showing yourself. Vahirism is when you enjoy watching others. Thea are not interchangeable. If a pregnant person passes away and is not discovered in time before putrefaction, the fetus can be expelled because of the pressure of the gases built up in the mother's body. This is called coffin birth. Male giraffes will headbutt a female in the bladder until she urinates. Then it tastes the pee to help it determine whether or not the female is ovulating. The muscle that covers the testis is called the cremaster. Horses can bust a nut on command. Also, male dolphins are gang rapists. And otters are interspecies pedophile necrophiliacs. A man named Horst Schultz holds the world record of farthest cum shot at 18 feet 9 inches and also holds the record for highest at 12 feet 4 inches. Edit, since someone asked, here is a source, https, slash slash i, imga, com slash 72z8by, png. The longer an employee is out of work as a result of an illness or injury, the less likely they are to return to work. Studies suggest that, when an employee is out of work for more than 6 months, they have less than a 50% chance of ever returning to work in any capacity. There are two type of penis implants, when people suffer of erectile dysfunction. One is a permanent stiff implant, and when you don't want to use it just save it moving it down. The other is an inflatable option so, when the patient want to use it, he has to inflate it by pressing, and air pump which is placed in the scrotum. So it seems, that you press your balls to inflate your dick. Uranus can stretch far enough or a coon can fit inside. 
After locking and tagging out a machine, you should always try to start it again. Otherwise you could inadvertently start the machine while inside of it and be crushed to death. You can catch syphilis from a blowjob. There are and will always be more female boobs than women on earth. Every 7 seconds, a worker is injured on the job. Over 30% of these are caused by overexertion. Stay safe people.